Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 98. Last time we spent some time in the Chart Tools Design menu. We did Select Data and we were working with different ways to add and edit and remove the series. You remember we could do that when we clicked here inside the series. We could get that series or we could get the whole thing. We could drag and move things around. Today is uh, an easy example of what if this data is in the wrong order? What if you, it says North, East, West, Central. What if you started at Central and that's always first on your reports. You want Central to be graphed at the top here. Or if we switch the row and column, you want Central to come out over here rather than all the way over to the right. Let me show you how to do that. If we uh, come to the select data screen, just like we were before, drag that up so you can see it. I've got North, East, West, and Central listed in the order they're going to appear. And what I can do is I can highlight central and see this move up arrow will now move central all the way to the top. And you can see central as I move it, if you watch over here, it's moving up and down as we go. So you can see what it looks like. The thing I want to show you about this select data source screen, when you do this, everything looks good. That's central. If you um, come over here, look what's happened. I've lost my ability to switch row and column. And if you come back and select data, I've lost my chart data range up here. It says the data range is too complex to be displayed. If I put it back, now I've got central there. I've got my chart data range here. And I can switch rows and columns. And the whole drag and drop thing works. Now central's back. As soon as I go to select data and I move this, as soon as I take it off one, then it says, ah, it's too complicated. I can't do all the tricks I used to teach you how to do. You can't switch row and column here. You're not going to be able to switch it there um, until you move it back, and then you can get it kind of the way you want it and then switch things around. Why would you want to move central over to the first? Why not just when you're typing in your data, put central in there first and do it right in the first place? If you're pulling a lot of data from your PM system and the PM system's got it set up this way or alphabetized or for whatever reason it's in a different order than you want. It's helpful to have the ability once you get your graph close to the way you want it, come over here, click chart and select data and you can move things around. Just understand that when you do, you're going to lose the ability because Excel is going to go make this complicated now. You're going to lose the ability to switch your own column and you're going to lose the ability to do this kind of drag and drop thing or, come on, not that, this kind of drag and drop thing is going to go away as soon as you sw um, change the orders. But if you need to, you need if you got your chart close and the PM system is always giving it to you that way and you just want to drag it up rather than completely move all your data and run the risk that when you copy this and paste it there, you screw something up, there's a trick to change the sort order or the plot order in the select data window. Stay tuned next time. I want to show you what this hidden and empty cells uh, window does and how you can use that to help you with your charts. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.